Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, I know it's been a real long time since the last time I did a video, so here's just an update on everybody and my breeding plans and a lot of stuff that's going on here. I haven't really got any new animals, but here's Toph, my red tail. I'm looking for a bigger cage for her. She's knocked over her water somehow. I don't know. She's crazy. She's about a thousand grams down. I don't know how big red tail bull is supposed to be at a year old, but I don't feed her as much. Uh, she's on small rats, but I kind of trying to keep her a little small for the time being until I can get a bigger cage, which should be next two months or so. Here's my Mojave girl. She's gotten really big she's almost a thousand grams she's keeping her color pretty decently um she's just a pretty girl um i don't know she shouldn't be big enough at the end of the season to breed but if she gets big enough i'll throw a male and see what happens um but i'm most likely gonna wait next season for her there's Iro, my spider. He's going to get some action going on. Um, he's definitely going to get with two females. One exclusively, probably. Maybe not exclusively, but pretty close. Here's my other girl that didn't go last year. She's been doing, she's been ball wrapping and laying inverted. I did pair my male Inchy with her. And he was trying to court her, but I didn't see any lock. So that kind of sucks. She's about 1,900 grams, so she's good to go. And this is the girl that had the miscarriage last season. She's up to 2,100 grams, and she's probably going to be paired with Iro mostly. Uh, she's been on the cold side. Look, she's got a lot of her weight back. Um, she had a respiratory infection. I'm pretty sure it's cleared up. I'm going to check her with the vet before I put one of my males with her. But I'm pretty sure she's good to go for this year. Here's the... This is going to be my all-female rack. 41 quart tubs. Here's kind of a new snake, but it's more of a borrow. I got it from my friend Rico. Um, I'm put his information up when I get a chance. This is a het albino female, and I got a friend of mine. Shout out Levar, my boy. He's gonna let me borrow his albino male, um, proven breeder from Garrick Demeyer, and I'm gonna hope these two guys breeding I get some albinos that would be very lovely and here's one of my normals my proven normals I got uh later earlier this year she's I think she's about 2200 2300 grams she's a big girl she laid nine eggs from the guy I got her from so I'm hoping she does the same I would love that I there's nothing else in these racks I gotta go get some tubs and I'm gonna move all my girls over here this is just an extra 28 quart tub and over here are my here's my het um, pied 60% head pie girl. She's fully in shed. She's about 800 grams. She's a possible black back. She probably not going to go this year. But we'll see if she gets up later in the year. And here's her sister. 60% um, head pie. She's almost 1,000 grams. I really love her color. And she looks like she's ready to bite me. But I really love her color. She 
is like I said almost a thousand grams. She might go this year. She might if she keeps eating. I try to feed her regularly and she kinda stays eating, but sometimes she just drops off. And here's my butter mail. I just drew blank. I just went blank for a second. What is my butter mail? He's 500, 520 grams. I'm trying to get a little more weight on him because you see those big girls I got. I'm um, trying to get a little more weight on him, but he's definitely going to be breeding. He's going to hit both my two big proven female girls a couple times and see what happens. Oh, and he's also hit hypo 50%. Um, I might have a female for him hit hypo 100% hit hypo female to try to prove him out. But this is just my, um, this Zuku, my first ball python. He's doing good. He's about 800 grams. He probably won't get any action this season. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no more females to be letting him go have fun with. So, he's probably not going to get any action. And here's my other proven female. She's easily... 200 and 2500 grams she's a big girl she also laid nine eggs and I'm hoping she's really she's really starting to get thick she's been bowl wrapping here and there and she eats on a consistent basis so I'm gonna keep feeding her up and hoping for the best and here are the tree snakes. Here's my my uh, green tree python. She just shed yesterday, or maybe two days ago. I gotta clean it up. Still down there. Um, I'm gonna get her sex. I don't know if mine's a boy or a girl. Um, I'm waiting for her to get up to size because she's still kind of small. She eats good, but she just doesn't gain that much weight. But she's still healthy and everything. And here's Aang, my emerald tree boa. She's doing good. She's full green, as you can see. And she's probably going to bite me. <laughs> um, she's a good eater. She eats live, frozen, whatever. So that's great. Uh, I got to clean her cage, too. Hoping she said soon. But still looking for her boyfriend. Probably going to wait another two years until I get a little more money and whatnot. But that's a quick update on everything. On some of my breeding plans. Oh, I forgot about these guys. I forgot about one of my... Oh, this guy. Well, this guy, this, here's the um, Inchy. I really love this Inchi. He has no spots in his pattern, no alien heads. That's one of the reasons I got him. And unfortunately, when I got him, he wasn't eating anything. He wouldn't take a rat, mouse, nothing. And I found out that he eats gerbils. So I had a friend that was getting gerbils, and he gave me a couple gerbils. He ate. He started eating again and started gaining back weight. So now he's about 550, almost 600 grams. But I can't afford gerbils. So what I did is I have a friend that's breeding gerbils. And I use his um, used gerbil bedding and let my rats run around in it. And it gets that scent on him and he eats the rats that way. So he does eat rats now. But he thinks they're gerbils. <laughs> And unfortunately, that's what I got to do with this guy. To get him to eat, I have to scent the rats with gerbil smell, and he eats. But I'm hoping he gets one of the girls pregnant this year, because I would love to see if his pattern is genetic, and he passes it on, and get some real killer inchies out of that. And here's 
the asshole of the bunch. This is my male calico, which, if you get a second, he will try to bite me. He's a striker. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's been like this since I got him. I've been trying to work with him a little bit, but there's no getting around it. He's he's feisty, which I will like. I'll be okay with if his appetite was feisty too. But he eats one minute he eats rats, and next he doesn't want anything to do with rats, and he only eats mice. So he goes back and forth. But he's getting up to he's about 400 grams now. Hopefully I can get him up to at least 500 and stick him in there with a, a female and he can try to get the job done as well. I wouldn't mind more calico, especially in the calico females. But that was, let me try to get this in here. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Mm. Work around, work around, you got it. You know the routine. Alright, well that's everybody. Quick little update, um, long awaited update. I don't have the rats anymore, not because I don't want to breed rats anymore. Landlord wasn't okay with me breeding rats, so I had to kind of get rid of them. I gave them to a friend of mine that's going to breed the rats, and I can get rats from him and everything, so it still kind of works out. But that's the update. Uh, until next time, YouTube, I'm... Gonna, oh, I did something to my account where a lot of people I was subscribed to, it got deleted or something. So, I'm going to go through who subbed me and I'm going to sub you. If um, you don't see that I subbed you, let me know. Send me a message. I'll gladly sub to your channel. I have no problem with that. Try to show love to everybody that shows me love and, and everything. But until next time, YouTube, peace out.